that never learned to read and write, but learned to spin and spool. At the turn of the 20th century, the U.S. was shifting from a rural agrarian society to an industrial economy. Children as young as four joined adults, working in factories and coal mines. In 1908, the Methodist Church took a stand for the rights of workers with a social creed that called for an end to child labor, a fair wage, and safety standards. In 1912, Teddy Roosevelt was quoting much of the content of the social creed, which was four years after the social creed had been written. The idea of a denomination setting these ideals in writing was groundbreaking, but the principles had a long history. Actually, the predecessor bodies of the United Methodist Church had for over a hundred years had statements on peace, on world order, anti-slavery, fairness for all. So our history since the time of Wesley, really, there were always statements in the books of discipline about the Methodist commitments to social holiness and to justice. So it's never not been there. In Washington, D.C., the Reverend Susan Henry Crow heads the General Board of Church and Society, the United Methodist Agency tasked with advocating for the values contained in the social creed. The former pastor gained an appreciation for the church's clear stance during an early appointment, pastoring a church amidst the textile mills of South Carolina. I was visiting one of my parishioners, several of whom worked in the textile mill right beside the church, and he was standing in ankle-high water. And I said, Mr. Smith, what happened today? And he said, oh, this is normal. And I was so shaken by it. Today, Henry Crow's office overlooks the Supreme Court and is just steps from the U.S. Capitol. As members of Congress come to work every day, they walk by this building and see what our witness is. Labor conditions in America have changed over a century, but there's still a need for people of faith to embrace the United Methodist social creed, says Church and Society's John Hill. We have been calling for a living wage in every industry since 1908, and I reflect on both how inspiring that is and how uh, frustrating that is. We take faithful positions on a number of issues, and then our job is to make sure that those words don't just gather dust on a shelf somewhere, that we live them out in our lives, and that we uh, challenge those systems that prevent them from uh, being realized in the world. The church has updated the social creed since 1908. To see the current version, visit umc.org slash social creed. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.